Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. I've just been AFK cooking and I will continue to for a little bit. I really want to get 99 construction this video, so... And I also realized that another thing I should do that I haven't done and I think saying it out loud will help me remember is I have not turned in the like long bones and curved bones that I have because I can get a little bit of construction XP from those it's not gonna make like an insane difference but it's probably good to do those before I get 99 construction because I'm not gonna be going back to Slayer until after I get 99 because if you don't remember I'm on a hellhound task and I just got 91 Slayer so I really want to do Cerberus but I feel like it's probably good to just get 99 construction now and like get it out of the way because it's a really really useful 99 to have because not only can I make a lot more stash units and completely max out my POH if there's anything left that I haven't done, but also the teleport on the cape is gonna be so nice. I'll be able to use that for like everything, so I'm really looking forward to having that. It's kind of like a budget max cape in a way. I do miss having a max cape because if you don't know, my main is maxed, and I feel like I didn't really get to use it all that much after I maxed because then Group Iron Man started like a couple months after I maxed. So I'm really looking forward to having, well, at least the con cape and then in the future the max cape on this account because I'll be playing this account for like as long as I can, I don't know. But anyway, back to cooking, I guess. Oh, that's so funny. You can't observe the telescope when it's like against another wall so i'm gonna have to like move my room around and i guess you just have to have this room like on the outside of your house <laughs> okay now it's fixed i think i'll just hop around and try to find one that's like not too far away in time <laughs> okay this seems good i think i guess i'll just keep cooking whenever i'm not doing shooting stars but i realized that maybe i should do shooting stars because I would like to get the prospector recolor eventually so I might as well just do that now so that's gonna be like part of my AFK activity and I have the shooting star tracker plugin on so it tracks the thing that I like observed in my telescope and it can do this for multiple worlds but I just now turned it on I didn't have it on previously so this will help me to remember in nearly an hour to go look for the shooting star looks like I was the first person to find this star it's a size 4 I wonder if anyone else will find it I feel like there's not a lot of people doing shooting stars these days I ended up logging out to cook lunch and then I logged back in and there's just a bunch of people here but the star is like almost completely down. There's 90 construction, just 9 levels left to go. So yeah, I guess I'm back to construction now. I might just like go back to mining stars whenever I need to like eat meals or something and just slowly work on that. I think I have a lot of stardust right now so maybe I don't need to be mining stars but it's really chill. I kind of only just recently realized that my telescope is teak, so it's not the highest level that I can have. So I'm just gonna build the mahogany telescope, and now this gives a two minute difference. And previously it was like a seven minute difference, so this is much nicer. Halfway to 99. I have a bunch of grapes and I'm out of raw food now so I think I'm just gonna use up these. I don't really have anything else to AFK although I guess making wine isn't that AFK but whatever. I'm just gonna be buying these empty jug packs. I guess each of them have a hundred so I'll buy like nine of these. And then I'm gonna switch to the lunar spellbook and just humidify them all and then make my wines and this should get me a decent amount of cooking XP. Well, I guess it's not quite enough to get me a level according to my banked XP plugin. I'm currently at 96 cooking. Also, sorry if you can hear like music in the background. Mudkip is downstairs playing drums right now. Oh, 
This is gonna be my new AFK thing for a while, fishing sacred eels. You fish them here and then you can cut them up with a knife and get Zora scales. So this will help me to like maintain the Zora items that I have without having to like ask Mudkip for scales and ruin his 100k stack. These are just really nice in AFK because I don't really have many other things I can AFK right now without having to like do something not afk first. I'm here in Dorgish Khan because I just remembered that I have all of these bones I can turn in to the bone collector for some extra construction XP. I haven't like looked up how much XP this is because I don't care that much. I just want to get the XP. Ooh, 119k. That's really nice because I have 69k left in the level now. Nice. I just figured I would turn them in now since I'm not planning on doing any more Slayer until after I get 99 construction. I'm almost a 96 con. I just ran out of teak planks. I just have eight left, so I asked Mudkip for more. He has like a ton of planks. I still have some mahogany, and I think that's what I'm gonna start on next, is to make the grind a little bit faster. And all of these planks combined, well, the teak and mahoganies, I'm just ignoring these two. All of this is way more than enough to get me to 99 control. Construction. I'm gonna have to get used to holding down four instead of three doing mahogany planks, but at least it'll get me a lot faster XP. Doing mahogany stuff, I've noticed that some of the beds are like, they have like this thing on top and they're really fancy and cool and so I started like looking at them more and I realized that the beds in different regions have different colors, like in Hosidius they're green. And here in Virag, the beds are yellow. That's so neat. I kind of wish that was how it's like in your POH because I think your bed is just always like red or something no matter your house theme. Just ran out of mahogany planks. I'm a little bit into level 98, but I have a bunch of Mahogany Homes points, so I'm gonna use those and buy some supplies so I can hopefully get some more Mahogany Planks, because Mahoganies are really nice. So here's these supply crates. I haven't bought any of these yet. I'll just buy all of them that I can. Oh. I guess I can't fit them all in my inventory. Well, this is gonna take a while, so I'll see you back later. Okay, here's all my loot from 11k points. I got 349 mahogany planks and then just under a thousand teak planks. And this other stuff I'm not really gonna use. I mean, I guess the steel bars are nice. So I guess I'll use up the rest of these mahogany planks and then I'll do teaks to 99. I have 21 mahogany planks left, so I'm just gonna leave this here. I know I'll get some more when I like get 99 and open the supply crates, but I want to make sure I have enough because I'm gonna need mahogany planks to do like, I think it's elite stash units, which I think I have like most of them right now, but I think I also need them for master stash units as well, so might as well have a little bit extra just in case. So I'm gonna start doing teak planks again and again this is way more than enough to get me to level 99 and I guess the rest or like most of it I'll just give back to Mudkip because he gave me like the majority of these teak planks. I realized I have like 4k oak planks that I don't really have a use for. I have like most of the low level stash units built so I thought I would go back to doing some oak dungeons 
dungeon doors, which is what I did all the way to 99 on my main account back in the day before Mahogany Homes was a thing. And I just thought I would like share how to do this method. I know there's like some specific camera angle where you only have to do one click and you can just keep your cursor there the entire time. But yeah, you just like hold down one to build and hold down one to remove and then you talk to the demon butler. Oh no, he ran away. And you hold down one when you're talking to him as well. He has to like give you the rest of the stuff and then you can send him back to the bank. With this method you can get like up to 550k XP per hour which is a lot more than Mahogany Homes but it uses up more planks but like I don't care. I'm not gonna use oak planks for Mahogany Homes and I wouldn't need to anyway because I have more than enough teaks for 99 just doing Mahogany Homes. I just thought I would boost my XP per hour a little bit because the grind is very slow and I would like to get 99 today. It's currently 4 p.m. and I have over 800k XP to go. So I have about like I think it was like 270k XP worth of oak planks if I'm doing oak dungeon doors. So this should take me like 30 minutes to use up all of these but that'll save me like pretty much five hours because I've been getting like around 100k XP per hour doing mahogany homes with teak planks because you can get more you can get like I think I've gotten up to 115k when I'm like really paying attention but then it dips down to like 80k after a while because I keep getting distracted. Oak planks done. I have 597k XP left. Okay I'm 257 XP away right now. I don't know how many of these things I have to build for 99 but whatever. I'm gonna finish the whole contract though. Okay that wasn't it. Still not it. <laughs> and there's 99 construction. Thank you for coming to my party. Oh, there's a little spider here I just realized. The spider also came to my 99 party. I appreciate it. Let me just finish this house real quick though. Oh wait, I need GP. Okay, now I'm here at this estate agent. Have to do the emote, of course. Awesome. That kind of matches the carpenter's outfit. What is he doing? That's crazy. I just got the Humlift pet from doing construction. Anyways, this cape is really nice because now I will have unlimited teleports to not only my POH but to other POH portals. This is so nice to have because I have all of these teleports now. It's just like a bunch of free teleports in one item. So the construction cape is quite expensive and quite tedious to get but it's so worth it. I'm really glad I have this and that it's out of the way now. 2119 total. We are still rank 22 and I haven't logged out so I have one more total level but that still doesn't get us a rank but we'll get back to front page eventually. I have 988 points. I guess I might as well use them up because I can't imagine I'm gonna need them for anything else. Okay, all my points are used up. Here's all the stuff that I got. Putting my construction cape at the very top of my teleport tab. I know it's not pretty right now, but I'm gonna like organize this one of these days. <laughs> organize it better at least. I have a bunch of gold nuggets, so I'm gonna buy another prospector outfit. And then I guess the rest I'll just save for like probably gems. And I know I have more than enough stardust to recolor this outfit, but there is gonna be another star in this world landing in like five minutes so I'm gonna go do that and then just like afk for a bit and edit some of this video but at least I can now use my construction cape to teleport to my house and teleport around to scout for the star. Okay the star fragment is worth 3k stardust and I need I think just one for each of the pieces.
Okay, I actually don't remember if I said that I was gonna get the full recolor at the end of the video, but yeah. Just this one last thing before I end the video, I wanted to show how cool this looks. And I guess I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll wear this whenever I go mining. Although I don't know when I'm gonna go mining next. Uh, the rest of my stardust, I could just use it to buy gems or something, but I think I'll do that later because there's a chance I might still do some more stars just because they're really nice to AFK. I don't know, I really like shooting stars. Anyway, so I'm gonna end this video here. So I accomplished 99 construction and I'm a little bit closer to maxing now. I'd say that was probably one of the most tedious grinds that I have left to max because I mainly just have like a few AFK skills and stuff that's either like really fast or really chill. I do have a bunch of plans now that I can finally play the game because I have 99 construction. But for now I'm gonna end this video here. Here's my character summary tab. I don't know if people prefer that I like stay on the skill tab as I'm ending the video, but here you go. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day or week, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, friends.